The University of Pavia is one of the oldest universities in the world. Tucked away among a maze of medieval streets, the university looks out over the River Ticino. Yet it's only a few minutes from Milan. It is a truly multidisciplinary university, offering degree courses in all fields of study. We have new ways of imparting knowledge, new ways of seeing the relationship between lecturer and student. One thing never changes, a communication of knowledge led by people. Here, the wisdom of the arts meets cutting-edge technological studies, the medicine of tomorrow with legal and social studies. Students can benefit too from a system of student residences unique in Italy. There is no teaching without research. This is evident in every lecture hall in the university. Our research, being of the highest quality, builds on a centuries-old tradition, but is part of an international network working towards the future. Our teaching methods call every student by name. Technology is used to allow for the best possible study, but the human touch is always present. The University of Pavia is a city campus. Students are welcomed into a friendly atmosphere, full of culture, which enriches student life. Here, everything is close. Classes, labs, spaces for sport and leisure. Graduates of the university find work quickly and easily. The University of Pavia <coughs> is constantly changing but continues to believe that there are always new paths to explore and new life-changing discoveries to be made. Indeed, it starts with you. And you joined already today with the first step maybe towards this uh, future in Pavia. And uh, as you joined to hear more about the program, about the uh, agriculture and food industry, um, we're going to hear more about this program in the next 40 minutes or so, as we will go over to the uh, speakers of the University of Pavia. But before we do that, um, I'm going to briefly explain to you some options. My name is Luke Mulling, and I'm the moderator of today. And we are um, trying to have an as interactive a session as possible. So first of all, you can already say where you're from. I see a lot of uh, people are already doing that through the chat. That's great to see and that uh, already a large diversity of students from different countries are joining in. So welcome everyone. Now, we also like to hear your questions. If you have them, you can write them at any time through the panel called questions at the right bottom. And uh, for the people joining live, we can take these questions uh, today and answer them hopefully later on. Uh, for the people that watch the recording, you can still write your questions as well. We can, of course, not answer them right away, but we will send them through to the staff of the University of Pavia so they can still come back to you. What else? I will open up uh, some polls. Uh, soon I will open up the first poll and then throughout the session some more. So you will see that light up. And last but not least, um, you can interact with us through a React button. At the bottom of the screen, you see a button called React. And exactly, that's the one. You can already give us some reaction if you like something or if, um, yeah, whatever it is that you feel, just to make it more interactive and also for the presenters to see that you're, well, not paying attention necessarily, but that you're there and interacting. Well, without further ado, let's go over to the presenters. And um, I will introduce the first uh, professor that is Graziano Rossi and he will introduce himself and the uh, yeah the rest of the speakers for you thank you hello to everyone I am uh, uh, professor Graziano Rossi I am a teacher of botany and I am also the president of uh, this new uh, master course in uh, agriculture sustainability 
She is. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alma Balestrazzi and I am Associate Professor in Plant Physiology. I'm teaching in the Agros Master Course. I'm also a Vice President of the course. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Shiva. I'm a student of first year of Agro Food Sustainability Master here in University of Pavia. Hi, everyone. I am Lorenzo Colombini. I'm 23 and I am from Milan, Italy. And uh, I'm currently attending first year of uh, Agri Food Sustainability. Hi, Shiva, Shiva is from? I'm from Iran. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Eleonora and I work at the Welcome Office of the University of Pavia that is in charge of assisting students uh, from abroad that would like to join uh, the University of Pavia. <laughs> okay, uh, now I, I try to explain a little what is agri-food sustainability at Pavia University with these slides. Uh, you, you can uh, will have uh, them also after uh, looking uh, in our uh, website. Uh, this is a new course uh, started uh, last year. Uh, then you will be student uh, at the second time of this uh, new master. Uh, it is a two years uh, master. Uh, it is in English, uh, and uh, we have two uh, curricula, one in uh, agroecology and sustainable farming, and the second one in food quality and nutrition. Uh, why these two curricula? Uh, because in our idea, uh, agronomists must uh, be also informed about what uh, people will eat after production and so we have the opportunity to <clears throat> have this uh, um, in our uh, course with the help of a different uh, uh, department also the uh, department of medicine and nutrition uh, which is uh, strictly involved with other nine we are ten departments then and um, and uh, interdisciplinary um, approach to the uh, preparation of uh, agronomists. Uh, why uh, study agri-food sustainability? Um, we, we think that uh, it is necessary in the world to, um, to push for uh, the reach of the um, 17 goals from uh, ONU uh, because we are uh, really um, far from to reach them, mostly number two, uh, but also um, number 12, for example. Then we need a, a new class of agronomists in the world working uh, in order to reach these uh, aims, very important aims. Um, what we provide? We provide, uh, we think, uh, a solid preparation in agricultural sciences and technologies a broad agroecological vision. This is one of the pillars of our um, teaching because this uh, um, master uh, was born in the, uh, in the body of uh, the, um, the different uh, department of science, then a, a clear ecological uh, starting approach. But uh, in order to have a, a good production, uh, if it is possible, sustainable and also organic. Um, we have in our idea, we have some ideas. <laughs> uh, one uh, we think is very important, but important is have a, a, a general view um, where uh, production uh, is linked, strictly linked to health, health uh, of people who is uh, uh, eating uh, our products, but also uh, health of, of uh, the planet. Uh, then one health uh, approach. This is our idea, what we try to, to teach uh, you. <clears throat> what uh, uh, you will uh, learn here, uh, we, we have two years, then the, mostly the first uh, uh, year is uh, uh, with uh, biology, physiology, genetics, um, but uh, um, also other uh, important uh, um, items, uh, mostly 
we are um, uh, specialized in uh, um, uh, herbaceous cultivation, uh, for example, um, mostly on uh, this kind of uh, production, then rice, wheat, corn, uh, and so on. And uh, also uh, other uh, very important uh, methods like uh, um, law with a uh, world, but mostly European Union um, point of view. Uh, and uh, a lot of marketing, marketing of, of uh, sustainable uh, productions, which is very important for um, your future, we see. Uh, uh, what we uh, will, um, uh, what uh, you will uh, study. First year, we have two years. This is first year. Mm -hmm. We start with uh, um, uh, agroecology and sustainable farming curriculum. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, more or less, at the, uh, the first year, the two uh, curricula are quite similar, only some differences in some hours for the uh, farming uh, curriculum, uh, which are the subjects, plant nutrition and quality of agri-food production, conservation and promotion of plant genetic resources, European agri-food law, food marketing, local or pro, pro, uh, production chains, agroecology and biodiversity conservation, which is my uh, personal subject, uh, sustainable grass crops, integrated production, organic farming, we uh, have a special attention to organic farming, sustainable management of water resources in agriculture, plant pathology, and other uh, activities, uh, which are uh, Italian language for foreign students, <laughs> because we think it is uh, important to know some, some words <laughs> uh, in order to, to live here in Italy. And for the Italian student or for the foreign student who knows well Italian, for other activities, we have um, special subjects that every year can, can change. Uh, during the second uh, year, uh, we have uh, um, the uh, opportunity for you to, to choose a different subject for, uh, for example, for uh, forest ecosystems and mm -hmm. ecology of a farming system, or you can also uh, say not, it is not a, of my interest, I prefer the second, forest and environmental sustainability in agriculture. The same for the other, uh, soil conservation and precision agriculture, or soil geochemistry and precision agriculture. Um, and uh, you have also the opportunity to choose different subjects. We offer some, but you can also uh, have other opportunities all uh, around the Pavia um, uh, University. We have also um, in uh, uh, this uh, second edition of the master the opportunity to have a, uh, a special activity, not strictly in the um, classes of the university, but outside in the colleges, we have a special uh, linkage with uh, Collegio Ghislieri, which is a very prestigious and uh, uh, old uh, college here in Pavia. And uh, we, uh, we have four subjects uh, you can see here. One is on conservation and use of biodiversity, from genes to landscapes, seed ecology and use, carbon sequestration, and the contribution of the agri-food sector. The same we had also this year, and a, a new one which is on wine sustainable marketing. Um, and uh, we have four experts uh, uh, for these uh, different subjects, not of our um, teaching uh, professor, but from uh, abroad. We have also uh, other special uh, um, possibilities for you. One is uh, from food heritage to sustainable rural development. Also, this year we had, and uh, it was very interesting uh, 
for the student, we, we understand. And uh, this year, um, but also next, we will have also visiting professors. This year we have Professor Miguel Altieri from Berkeley uh, University, California. He is uh, the uh, main person speaking of uh, uh, agroecology, uh, and we will have uh, him of or some uh, one more from um, from other university in also next year. Then every year we have a visiting professor of um, this thing, uh, interesting activities. Internship opportunities. I um, I can say you that we have uh, uh, some time you will spend in the different uh, department. You have ten department uh, at your uh, for your opportunities, and uh, you have here your um, internship in order to have a thesis preparation. This is very important. You can have this opportunity the second year, but in special. Uh, um, situation you can start also before. Um, the, um, the course is two here, but we can have also an other opportunity with six months more, we call it AgriFood LM uh, Plus uh, project, and uh, you will have a training period in uh, some companies. We have more or less 10 private companies now linked with us, and uh, you will have this opportunity to have your experience directly in uh, industries, uh, farm, farms, and so on, and also a, a, a small uh, grant uh, for every month you will stay there. Partner companies, we have uh, we have had uh, agreement with uh, different uh, farms, most farms or food industries also, um, in order to have uh, the opportunity to uh, visit them also during the first year and have the opportunity to speak with them and in some times also see if it is possible have a period to stay there in order to have your thesis um, preparation. Um, a, a lot of uh, 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 farms, uh, private companies and also foundation is contacting us. We have a, a great interest uh, among these new calls. Career opportunities. Now I, I ask to Alma to, to, to try to explain and go on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Graziana. So, okay. So what about the career opportunities? So the graduates will uh, operate, uh, will contribute uh, with farms at various level and complexities, including the organic sector. Then they will be, they can be, they can enter, they could enter storage and processing companies and agro-food marketing, professional consultancy for small and medium-sized enterprises. You see, they can access to different areas of public administration. So you see both the private and public sector will be open to the to our um, graduates. And also uh, they will be, they, they could be a part of uh, third sector associations, for example, the NGOs and with the task of supervising primary production and then also enter association institutional bodies and so on so you can see a, a wide range of opportunity of job opportunity career opportunities for our graduates then entry requirements so um, you know this is a, a, a an english uh, master course so uh, the applicants uh, should uh, prove that they have a good knowledge of english language and uh, if the uh, uh, language certificate won't be uh, provided there will be a preliminary interview to assess your english um, uh, level 
And again, uh, there, will be, uh, there will be a screening and evaluation of your uh, CV uh, made by, by the office, by the people of the office and the, the committee, uh, so that uh, you will have to uh, fit into these requirements about different disciplines, uh, specific disciplines, and, and so on. Um, admission process, so as I told you already, there is an admission committee who will evaluate your application, looking at different aspects, your career, uh, the graduation mark, the level of English language, and other relevant uh, components. Application can be submitted on this apply at unipv.eu. Uh, uh, and thanks for your attention. We are here for all the, uh, the, the, the next interactions. Okay, I take that will mean the Q and A. Um, I'm not sure if we will still hear from the students at this stage. Yeah. So um, uh, I have some question for our students. Yes. Uh, so um, to both Lorenzo and Shiva, I would like to ask you uh, to uh, tell us why uh, uh, did you uh, choose this course? Okay. Uh, first of all, I introduce myself again. My name is Shiva. I'm from Iran. I'm uh, in the first year of Agri-Food Sustainability here in University of Pavia. And uh, the reason why I choose this course, uh, because I strongly believe that uh, because of this uh, demand of the food needs in these uh, new wars. As you know, the population is growing and for sure we need more food. And in the other hand, as we know, the, the planet Earth is in danger and the environment is uh, in danger really because of the usage of uh, the everything of the planet Earth. Uh, we really need some solution to solve this issue, the concerning issue of the war. So I think that uh, agri-food sustainability, as uh, Professor Rossi mentioned, is in a uh, interdisciplinary uh, major so we can actually address the whole concern by uh, uh, having the food and uh, actually uh, preserving the, the environment and uh, we have the food and uh, all the things we need for the, our uh, our people for now and save it also for next generation uh, that's the reason I really think it's a, a global issue and we have to do as soon as possible a solution for it that's my reason that I choose this course. Thank you. And Lorenzo? Uh, for sure, I agree with all that Shiva said before. And then I can provide you uh, my experience. I had a bachelor's degree in biological science. And then I also attended a, a professional schools in uh, reuse and regeneration of uh, peri-urban areas. And uh, this permitted me to do a stage uh, with an association that works with uh, regeneration and restoration of uh, ecosystem. Um, then with my bachelor, uh, I understood that I needed a more um, solid base of uh, agricultural science. Uh, so that is one of the reasons I chose this course. And also um, the main reason is that I, during this period, I understood that uh, uh, food food system must uh, go within um, ecological system. So uh, that's the reason uh, we all speak uh, and spoke about sustainability, And uh, but this is the actual tra translation, I think, of these terms uh, in agricultural fields. So that's, that, that is the reason I chose this course. Thank you. So I have another question for you both. Uh, how is it going now? And have your expectations been satisfied? This uh, uh, I have issue. to say I'm really satisfied because uh, with my major, uh, I got the knowledge and the skills that I need to uh, address to hold this concern. And uh, I have a lot of uh, experience he uh, here because uh, I am uh, teaching, uh, uh, sorry, I am a uh, learning whole the theoretical and the practical form of the knowledge here so i can go depth in the understanding the issue and the solution at the same time and i think this is the knowledge and the the, the skills i need to address hold the concern for the sustainability future 
or our uh, whole world. Yes. Right. For me, uh, I um, think that uh, the good point of this course is that uh, um, it is an um, interdisciplinary and interdepartmental course uh, so that uh, uh, even uh, we, um, the students attending these years uh, are all from different uh, backgrounds. And uh, this is a in, in really interesting thing uh, to me. And also I want to underline the uh, availability and the uh, possibility of the professor to always uh, uh, go uh, in contact with students uh, to, um, to be closer in this uh, difference gap that uh, are present uh, between uh, our backgrounds. And uh, I am really satisfied by, by this course also to this reason. Thank you, Lorenzo. And now for Shiva, uh, what are the things you prefer about this course? Uh, one thing I really uh, like about this course is, as uh, my friend said, is that uh, it Inter uh, interdisciplinary uh, courses so uh, we have everything um, in every angle of the food uh, processing and food uh, systematic so we know which part what should we do and uh, in this uh, course also as Mr. Rossi said uh, we have really different um, experience with incoming professors with our professors and they are answering the whole aspects from nutrition from economy from agriculture uh, from everything so we are well equipped for our next no next uh, I don't know course for in PhD or even for the work uh, career opportunity so this is the what I really uh, like about our courses here thanks and uh, again another uh, question for Lorenzo uh, so why did you have you chosen Pavia and how is your experience here until now maybe you already told us a little bit about this but Okay, yes, uh, the reason I choose Pavia is that uh, uh, I used to live in Milan, that is a, a really close city to Pavia, but uh, really different, uh, in the sense that Pavia is a really lively city, uh, I think so, because uh, it is a bit smaller and uh, everything is uh, close. Um, also because uh, it has a really um, historical tradition of uh, the university and uh, the college and the resident uh, uh, in it. So I think uh, that is uh, really um, accessible to students. And um, there is also a really good uh, um, scholarship program uh, provided by Edizu uh, that I suggest uh, everyone to visit the platform, the website, to uh, have a uh, more easier uh, way to assess this uh, city and to uh, to stay here. And um, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, to close this uh, Q and A session, uh, Shiva, would you recommend this course to other international students? Yes. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure. Because from my point of view, the sustainability is one of the most important approach for the modern world, and all of us, as it's possible, have to work and need to save our uh, world and and the future generations. So, I think there is a lot of potential to work on this sustainability, especially of uh, agro food sustainability. Sustainability. There's a lot of uh, potential to work on the research and the careers and everything. So um, I love to solve these uh, problems. So I invite everyone to come here. We can work together and others hold the concern and issue. Uh, I hope to see you here. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, so if you have, uh, if we have still time. There will be a few slides already that uh, I would like to show about the internship. I don't know. Okay, thanks. So just to let you know about uh, the departments involved, for example, you see here some pictures from the work uh, at the Department of uh, Biology and Biotechnology, where, for example, you could uh, enter the world of seeds. So looking at seed physiology, uh, biology and other and seed priming technology with some molecular tools as well available 
uh, here this is the department where I work uh, so together also with uh, Dr. Anka Makovei and Dr. Andrea Pagano we held this part related to seed physiology, seed quality hallmarks and seed priming just to give you an idea and then also the availability of agrotechnology uh, tools so the use of advanced tools technological tools to cover uh, for example to land cover and and uh, and other stuff for those who are much more interested into these issues and uh, i think that this this is the end of the story i hope you enjoyed the presentation thank you so much okay great thank you uh, we're getting already some thumbs up and good symbols there so um that shows me that people liked the presentation already so far and now is the time for the audience all of you that joined in and i saw a lot of different countries uh, the, that you join in from and so it's your time to ask any questions that is to write any questions that you have um i already saw some of the questions so i will go over them in a second for people that watch the recording, you can also still participate in all the options. So you can still write questions. We will send them through to the staff of the University of Pavia. You can also participate in a polling. And for all of you uh, that haven't answered the poll, uh, please do so. That would be appreciated. So we have an idea a bit on uh, your background and uh, status, so to say. And um, yeah, let's go over to the questions. So that's, um, there are already, various questions let's start with the question from uh, shams uh, shams is asking do you provide any industrial practice opportunity i guess towards uh, an internship well it is uh, uh, as already professor rossi explained there is this opportunity of the uh, master course plus that is that provides students with an extra period of six months that they can spend uh, uh, at the company so this is a, another way to carry out to complete the the, the, the cv the curriculum uh, in close contact with a company uh, the the student will be hosted by the company he she will go there to learn to work to carry out his her um, thesis uh, project in, uh, uh, in in synergy with the industry so this is the way we try to bring the students our students much closer to the industrial environment i hope i explained i i, I answered properly. we're getting we're getting the thumbs up so i guess that is answering the question uh, thank you <laughs> And um, next question from Jomer is asking, do you accept undergraduates from the Philippines? Yes, 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 absolutely. We are hosting a PhD student from Philippines. So, uh, and also in our group, we have a, a research collaboration uh, ongoing with the ERI. So absolutely, they are welcome. <laughs> Uh, Eleonora will say yes. something. Yes, I wanted to add that um, the University of Pavia is open to everyone. So uh, we accept students from all over the world. There is no uh, limit uh, to the to the country of origin. Perfect. Great. That is good to hear. Thank you. Um, next question uh, from Oleg. I already obtained a master's degree in international trade. Can I join the master program? Sure. It, uh, it, it based on the CV, on the on the discipline that you studied in in your master degree. Uh, there will be uh, an evaluation by the by the committee, and then based on on this evaluation, we need to see the credits, the discipline. So there will be this, let's say, ad bureaucratic administrative um, um, requirements. But I think. Okay, yeah, we have a couple of uh, students asking about the requirements uh, and their background. So, for example, Ken Chuku, if I say that right, he's from Nigeria. He has a bachelor in botany and a master in cell biology and genetics. And he wants to know if he meets the criteria for application. And if so, when is the best time to apply? 
Well, the criteria, yes, you meet the criteria because I already, I remember about other similar CV that we have evaluated. And Eleonora, maybe yes, can tell. Um, I wanted to add regarding the best period to apply. So uh, at the moment, um, I mean, in a, in a few days, applications will open again. <clears throat> so uh, as in, on the 38th of March, uh, it will be uh, possible to apply to the Agri-Food Sustainability and Master Degree course. <clears throat> so from the 38th of March to the 12th of April, uh, it's necessary to go on the website apply.unipv.eu and uh, select Agri-Food uh, as a source of interest and start the application by entering uh, the personal data and also uh, some documents related to the um, to the background, so the bachelor degree and uh, the transcript of uh, your bachelor degree, so that um, uh, the professors and the admission office will be able to evaluate uh, uh, your application. So, um, and also the CV, yes. Um, so basically, um, each, uh, each application must be uh, evaluated in order to find out whether you, you got admitted or not. Okay, great. Thank you. I hope that explained that process. I uh, put the link of the uh, application portal in the chat. So there uh, you find it and um, you can yeah, look at the uh, procedures that I mentioned there. I think you have to uh, put the course and then um, follow the instructions, basically, if I'm yeah. correct. <laughs> right, Eleonora? Yes, um, plus if you have some doubts on the application platform, there's a red column on, uh, on the left uh, and we have uh, an application tutorial on YouTube so that uh, uh, in case you need help, you can follow that tutorial and uh, it's, uh, it will help you, you know, to uh, fill in the application. Okay, great. Perfect, thank you. I have actually the direct link as well, so I'll share it with you in a second uh, as well. Um, a similar question from, um, I think, Mawena, it was, if there's an application fee involved. Yes, there's an application fee of 35 euros that can be paid online or uh, also, I mean, with the credit card uh, and any card working online or via PayPal. Okay. Thank you. Question from Omotosho. Is there an opportunity for student job with a department or a partner farm? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, the, univers the University of Pavia offers different opportunities uh, to work inside the university um, as a part-time, uh, um, we call it part-time collaborations so that students can um, join any kind of department or office uh, to start um, supporting the, the staff there. So it, there are different uh, kind of projects like that. So both in administrative offices and also in labs and so on. And uh, there's an, uh, of course an application um, uh, to submit also to, to have these kind of opportunities. Okay, great. Thank you. We're getting the thumbs up. So great. And next question. Um, let's see. That is from Solomon. Um, he is asking, I'm a graduate of agricultural, agricultural extension and rural development. I'd like to know if I need to take an English proficiency exam to be qualified for admissions. Um, he, there's a B2 English um, uh, level requirement uh, that needs to be uh, filled in in order to uh, to be eligible for the admission. Okay, hope that answered your question, Solomon. Um, question from Shams: uh, Is there a scholarship opportunity? Yes, there's a, a scholarship opportunity. Um, the scholarship um, um, application can be done uh, from July. And uh, the main scholarship is, of, uh, as um, Lorenzo said before, by Edizu, uh, which is a regional body in charge of students' rights. Um, they publish the call for scholarships 
in um, in the website as I said from from July and basically um, uh, they they evaluate the family economic situation so there's a list of documents to prepare uh, so to translate and to be legalized in order um, to to provide them to the to the edizu uh, the body issuing the scholarship and uh, so that they can understand uh, the eligibility of of each student uh, the, the scholarship includes um, um, can include the accommodation uh, one meal per day a sum of money and uh, um, the exemption from the university fees. Okay, thank you. Next question is from Mariam. Is there a deadline to applying for an internship? Uh, there are different projects, so it, it, it depends. Uh, it's not like just one internship yeah. project. Is Yes, what we can say is that uh, uh, internship sh should start uh, in the second year, but the students, they feel free to contact in advance uh, professors, uh, they can go visit their lab, see, uh, get an idea of which type of research issues, research topics are ongoing, and so absolutely students, they should do this, they are encouraged to do this. So they can have a clear idea, mm -hmm. or maybe uh, Shiva and Lorenzo can say something about this. They are in the process of looking for their own lab, but absolutely there are several um, expertise, different labs that can host the, the students. Exactly. For example, I have a nutrition course, and uh, also fundamental of food technology. That the prof professor said that we are welcome to go there, and even we can see the project they are, they are ongoing. And even if you like to do something, we can have a cooperate with them uh, if we are uh, eligible for that or if we like to do that. So I think there is opportunity for students. Yeah. Also the. The majority of the class we had uh, in the first semester were in common uh, because I'm from the other curricula. Uh, but uh, uh, again, we did uh, something like uh, 10 visits uh, yes. uh, out of the city to visit uh, some farms or company uh, so that uh, uh, we have a clearer idea of uh, what is uh, the surrounding area of industrial production, more local production, or uh, so on. So also this area is uh, really devoted to agriculture, so uh, you will easily find uh, some company. Okay, great. Thank you all for your answers. Hope that helped. Uh, for Mariam who asked and also for any other ones uh, that were wondering about this. So next question, um, Orpa is asking, what are the fees and is it possible to do this master program online? Okay, so let me uh, start with the online question. So the University of Pavia is uh, an in-presence university, so the course cannot be uh, attended online. As concerns the fee, uh, non-EU students can have a fee based on their citizenship. Um, in alternative, uh, uh, still providing the financial documents, they can have a fee based on the family economic situation. Uh, so uh, the fee based on the citizenship starts from 400 euros per year um and uh, it arrives to uh, 4500 euros per year and um uh, the, the fee based on the family economic situation uh, starts from 156 and again uh, it can arrive to 4500 but uh um basically if the family economic situation is lower than 23000 euros per year the students will be exempted from the university fee so they will just have to pay the 156 euros that is a regional tax okay great thank you for uh, that answer um and meanwhile you see on the screen uh, the program overview there you find all the information or, uh, regarding this program um the uh, requirements as well the people asked english uh, the whole structure of the program and uh, even more information so if you click on that you can uh, browse at your own pace after the webinar 
and find out all the details. Um, I think you just mentioned, um, maybe that was answering the question from Marvin, if Pavia considers waiving the application fee for international students from developing countries. Uh, yes, unfortunately, as per the university policy, the application fee cannot be waived. Um, so, no, unfortunately, it's not possible to waive the application fee. Okay, thank you. Next question from Marwena. Uh, is a student with agricultural uh, economics background suitable for this program? Yes. Agricultural economics. Yes, yes. yes sure. Sure. Yes. Thank you. Valentine says um, that the website says that the application period has ended. Yes, uh, as I mentioned before, now it's not open, uh, but it will open uh, at the, the last day of March, so the 38th of March. Uh, the applications will open again and they uh, will be open until the 12th of April. Okay. So you have uh, like uh, 12, 13 days to, uh, to submit your application. Okay, we're getting the thumbs up. So that is also clear for everyone else. If you want mm -hmm. to apply, then be aware of those uh, that those timelines. Again, you should be able to find it on the page that I just shared with you as well. Next question um, is from, let's see, Marigona. Uh, is there a subject related to quality department, quality assurance? Quality. Do you know something about that? Certification, like certification in uh, About uh, certification for uh, commercial purposes, for uh, industrial purposes. No, I don't think, unless there will be some related topics uh, inside the different courses. So maybe, yeah. For seed quality insurance, for example, there is some issues uh, described uh, in, in uh, discussed in the in those course that uh, deals that deal with uh, seed quality, seed enhancement. So I think for food safety or whatever, yeah. there will be for sure this kind of topic in in the related courses. That's for sure. Okay, thank you. And we just got another question in from Valentine asking, what are the advantages of this program compared to others? Well, I would say that in this program, you can combine both the two core, uh, let's say, topic, the core um, issue, uh, the, the, the agri and the food. So you, you can cover uh, the over the, the full uh, value chain and uh, the course give you the chance to uh, stop and uh, improve deepen your um, your skills your your background in some of these components of the food value but what is also uh, extremely relevant is to have the whole idea yeah. i don't know shiva and uh, lorenzo yeah. if because it's important. It's yes, important. yes. Uh, I, I, first of all, I think there is uh, not that much a university that uh, yeah. prepared this subject. And as I told you before, it's a really hot topic these days for the modern life. So, and also uh, from for this uh, career, we have a lot of opportunity. For example, as we are working on agriculture and food, we are starting from uh, producing to processing, consumption, even the waste. So we are uh, actually um, mm -hmm. yes covering whole the steps of this uh, uh, circulum so and also there's a lot of uh, opportunity for us like uh, we can work on food policy we can um, work on the food business and marketing we can food on a food uh, uh, analysis system and we can be as an advocate for sustainability we can be I don't know we can work on oil waste management so there's a lot of uh, angles of this course is uh, covered in this unit university and this major so i think it's a uh, right. really advantage it's quite also unique the combination it, exactly. the combination so of the two key words agri and food and the way we uh, yes. 
we yes. look around, uh, we look into this yes exactly this topic. We're covering yeah. everything because we are lucky to have uh, different skills uh, that can work synergically exactly. in, in in giving rise to this unique yes. Uh, CV unique. Uh, exactly. Um, I have one more uh, example to say. For example, I am in the intersection of food. Uh, in the in the fundamental of food technology, I have now I have uh, two different professor speaking about allergen, but they are totally different because we are working on the theoretical and uh, medical uh, aspect. And also we are working on the, on the factory and, and the business aspect. So uh, we are covering the whole aspect of the possible things in the, this uh, food system process. So I think it's really complete and this is the advantage of this course here. And also, if I can say just a few words more, flexibility is also a key word because in a world that is continuously changing, the young people who come into the job uh, uh, dimension size, they, they need to be flexible. And they so this comes if they learn different topics and they know how to combine, to integrate. So it's a kind of exercise. Flexibility. Yes, yes, we have all the aspects, I'm sorry, <laughs> all the aspects of uh, an issue so we can decide and work more efficient because we know all the aspects of the issue. I think it's more practical. Yes, uh, and I wanted to add something that uh, maybe you could confirm that uh, even the location of the university, um, mm -hmm. the, so Pavia, it's in the north, uh, northern Italy, it's not far from Milan, but we are uh, in an area which is very famous and it has a long history of um, agriculture related to rice, but also to wine. So um, I think you also have some field activities uh, exactly. yeah, in yeah, this exactly, area. Yes. We go from the lab, from the bench to the field. Exactly. So uh, exactly. whenever, you, whenever you like to stay in the lab with uh, pipettes or you want to go to the field, there are all these options for you. Great. I think that is a very good, uh, yeah, conclusive uh, answer to the session, actually, um, and gives a good uh, summary of the, of the benefits. Thank you very much, all of you. Um, at this stage, I don't see any further questions. So unless we get another question, we can still take it. Um, for those people that are watching on demand, you can still write your questions as mentioned. For people that start to join us late, you can just stay on and um, actually it will restart in a couple of minutes and you can watch it uh, right away from the beginning. And um, yeah, also last but not least, don't forget to um, give us your answers via the poll. Um, I have a one last poll question actually coming up for you as well, for all of you, uh, as we like to know to get your feedback uh, and we like to know how we did. There it is on my face, uh, right over my head. There it is. Um, how do you feel the session went? Was it a five that was the best, that was awesome? Or how did you feel it was? Well, thanks to let us know your feedback we hope we're getting good responses so far i see we do for all the people that are already uh, submitting their votes thank you very much and um having said that um yes i like the round of the session and thank everyone for having joined and um, that means especially uh, the audience first of all um, all of you that join in from different parts of the world i saw a lot of different countries joining in um, so um, I think we had people from Pakistan, from Nigeria, from Germany, the Netherlands, Suriname, uh, Czech Republic, I'm sure I forget some, but all of you, great uh, that you were with us. And of course, the uh, speakers, all of you, thank you very much. Um, well, Mr. Rossi had, uh, had to leave, I think he had other important duties to take care of, but also um, Mrs. Um, Balestrazzi, thank you very much, and the You're students, <laughs> Shiva and uh, Lorenzo and, and Leonora, thank you very much, all of you. Thank you for thank you. And, um, With that, great, you're welcome. And um, yes, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I will display last part again, the um, program overview on the screen in case you missed it. I will put it in the chat actually, so you can go to the portal and um, you are able to 
apply from there as well. And if I understood correctly, that will be from the 30th of March. Okay, thanks everyone. The last word, maybe still, Mrs. Balasarazzi, you want to say something to finish off the session? Uh, we are thank you so much to all the people who joined uh, this uh, this webinar. We are really available here to answer to all the questions, curiosity, or whatever. So just send the, 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 the your questions, your doubt, and hopefully we would like to see all of you in Pavia. But <laughs> let's see if it will be <laughs> visible. Thanks a lot again. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. The University of Pavia is one of the oldest universities in the world. Tucked away among a maze of medieval streets, the university looks out over the River Ticino. Yet it's only a few minutes from Milan. It is a truly multidisciplinary university, offering degree courses in all fields of study. We have new ways of imparting knowledge new ways of seeing the relationship between lecturer and student. One thing never changes, a communication of knowledge led by people. Here, the wisdom of the arts meets cutting edge technological studies, the medicine of tomorrow with legal and social studies. Students can benefit too from a system of student residences unique in Italy. There is no teaching without research. This is evident in every lecture hall in the university. Our research being of the highest quality, builds on a centuries-old tradition, but is part of an international network working towards the future. Our teaching methods call every student by name. Technology is used to allow for the best possible study, but the human touch is always present. The University of Pavia is a city campus. Students are welcomed into a friendly atmosphere, full of culture, which enriches student life. Here, everything is close. Classes, labs, spaces for sport and leisure. Graduates of the university find work quickly and easily. The University of Pavia is constantly changing, but continues to believe that there are always new paths to explore and new life-changing discoveries to be made. It starts with you.